Right, awesome. Okay, so uh, first and foremost is um, I'm guessing that you're on here. So you got this one, not this one, this one, yeah? Yeah, I got the normal one. Okay, it doesn't matter what livery you have. However, if you want to, you can just go for American if you, if you want to. And make sure that you start with your engines off. Time doesn't matter because when you connect on Smart Copilot, I don't know. Have you ever used Smart Copilot? No, no, no. Okay, so when you connect on Smart Copilot, what happens is um, you have a master and a slave. And I'll start the plugin. I'll show you. So if you got your plugins, uh -huh. go to Smart Copilot and show UI. This is going to be the plugin. Okay. Yeah. So back in the day, you used to be a you had to um, use direct connection, and that was. Um, using IP addresses to connect to each other. They've updated that. You now have what you call a Sky server. So instead of doing direct, it, which was a nightmare, because what you had to do is you had to get that person's IP address and to paste it on there, and then I had to give you my IP. It was a nightmare. And, uh, it, honestly, <laughs> it was a nightmare. It was a nightmare. Man. We had so many people leave because of that. They have now a Sky server. And with the Sky server, what you simply do is you have this button here, which is the three dot lines, which is the set. And if you click on that, now the interface, we never touch that. Um, you have the one, uh, another IP address. We never touch that, so we never touch the IP address. The interface is just the network interface that you want. So if you're using a different IP address, uh, perhaps you got a VPN on. We recommend you don't use a VPN. But if you have a VPN on, then you can choose it. But we recommend just, if you have, do have a VPN, to use Smart Copilot. Just use the basic, um, just use, what I'm going to do actually is I am going to drag us. To, so people, uh, training, man, I'm going to drag you. And what you have, so if you have a VPN, then you can switch it to the frequency that you're on. But if you do have one, we recommend you turning it off temporarily and just using the 000 interface because that just saves you the stress, man. Honestly, it saves you the stress. The port always remains the same unless you have a different port. Again, that comes down to VPN. And if you're funny about that, people connecting to you and stuff, and blah, blah, blah. You can use a different port. Now, I would recommend leaving this as default because that's more is if you direct connect. So through, a, um, you know, an IP address, and what happens is you click that button here. So this add button here and you add their connection name. So in this case, say, for example, Elliot's and then you they would get their IP address. So their local IP address mm -hmm. and then you'd paste it on there. You would do the same on your screen, so you'd copy my ad IP address on there, and then you choose a port a port number. Now that port number never really needs to be changed unless you have uh, a unique one or you set yourself one. But if you don't know what you're doing, I would recommend just not even touching that. So back into the settings. So you use the remember the port number stays at default. Don't touch these two. We don't start now. Use UPnP. Um, that's just a, a little router thing. I forgot what it was, but it's just uh, another terms for connecting. I wouldn't even touch that. Auto start basically just uh, essentially auto starts your smart copilot as soon as you start explain. I recommend it off because you might not always want someone to, con um, you know, for example, you might not always want it to start. I have it off because I don't always use smart copilot. I use it, but I don't use it all the time. Sometimes I yeah. fly, so I'd recommend thingy. Before we go on to start, you have general settings, you have UI settings, and you have sync options. And a couple of things is general. I just recommend leaving that as usual. Don't touch it. Um, show on startup. So do you want you know this to show up on startup? Explain. Disable pop-up window and disable lost connection. I would just leave these. As, I would just leave these as uh, normal. Hang on, two seconds, bro. 
you have to sign in. And send and no, send it back. Start watching. Yeah. You might get into that actually. I'm thinking about, and then you just search Jerm. Yeah. Right. So back again. So we leave these the UI. If you don't know what you're doing, just leave it as default. The only thing that you should really be worried about here is pause on connection loss. This is, for example, I was flying with Mango here yesterday, mm -hmm. and on multiple occasions. Um, he lost connection to his Wi-Fi or his Wi-Fi for some weird reason just stopped working or he lost connection. What will happen is that we'll, it will pause X-Plane. It will just do that. So no further, nothing else happens. So if you disconnect or something from like a network or your internet goes down or whatever, it just pauses. That's all it is. So I would recommend just leaving that as normal. Enhanced smoothness. It's saying here not recommended. Um... I would just leave it as normal. Don't even, don't, don't, yeah, I wouldn't even touch it. Not until that's fixed. I think that needs a better, better thingy. I think he's working on that. Sync transponder. Yes, you do want a sync transponder because you will be putting the transponder here. So leave that as, as normal. Sync radios. Yes, you want to sync the radios because we'll be using the radios. Say, for example, if you're on VATSIM, which I'll talk to you about that in a second. Yes. Now, sync weather. This one is entirely up to each user. So, do you want to... So, when you click sync weather, that means that when you connect to me, okay, my weather is going to sync to your screen automatically straight away. So, um, say for example, you connect to me, right? What happens is is that you have to go here onto your x -ray and you have to put it onto clear. Okay, so you go onto clear. And then... Um, what will happen is is that when I press sync and you connect to me, my weather just transfers onto you. Now I recommend you taking your own weather. So if you might have active sky, you might have something else. Just just take that off because that's Do you have active sky cool. or uh, I do I mean I have X Envaro. I use active sky and thingy. As you, uh, I do I use active sky sometimes, but uh, I've been using X Envaro because I'm trying to get into it more often. Hmm. So I would recommend you turn it off. I always turn mine off. Um, I always tell people to take their own weather. But what happens is if you use a shitty engine, is that you might have different reloads and speeds of weather. So you might go through a rain while I'm fine. But that happens anyway. So it's not going to sink 100%. So I would just recommend turning that. You know, if you if you do end up having the master, you okay. can and someone else being a slave, just have it. Force controls released. Just as uh, you know just um, leave it as that off because what you want to do is if you're flying with um, I'll, I'll explain that basically when you're connected is you, when you're connected both together okay is that you can release the brakes um, sorry you can release the controls so I'll explain it all in a sec about that okay so what we do here first is we just go here and then we start so you start on your side and I start on my side okay. and then here you're gonna have uh, you're gonna go to Sky Server, so you want to go to Sky Server. Mm -hmm. Okay, and to connect is very, very easy. What I do is say, for example, I'm gonna be the master, and you're gonna be the slave. Mm -hmm. Okay, is you go on to slave, and I go on to master. But in this case, I'm gonna go as slave, you're gonna go as master. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna copy your ID, own ID, okay. and you're gonna send it to me. And I'm gonna go to the co-pilot seats. right and then what I do is I just copy that and copy and you can see here it says paste and it automatically pastes right right so you should have this do you have this on the screen same yeah, yeah, yeah awesome now I'm gonna send you a connection so make sure you go as master I go as slave mm -hmm. now before we do connect it's very imperative that we do a couple of checks now it's going to be imperative that you do these checks because if you don't, you're going to have discrepancies. And what that leads to is a lot of trouble. So you might notice that the aircraft might be stuttering. It might, you might crash at times. So we're going to test that out now before we connect. So the first thing that we want to do is I need to ask you, have you got any scenery here in Toronto? No, I don't. 
Uh, no, All no, default, no. yeah? Yeah, default. Awesome. That's what we like. And you also made sure that here in general settings that your runway follow contours is on as well. Yeah, yeah? this I have. Mm -hmm. And here in use experimental flight, that's off, correct? That's off, yes. Right, awesome. Okay. Now, the other one is your Avitab. Mm -hmm. Now, your Avitab needs to be exactly the same. We're talking settings left, right, and center. So what we're going to do is we, we have the home button here. Do you know how to use the Zebo roughly? Roughly, yeah. Okay, so tell me what you know about the Zebo. You mean the like, Avitab? So or? tell me, so from 1 to 10, how how well do you know Zebo? Oh, no, no, it's a, it's a 1. It's a 2, maybe. A 2. Okay, so you, have you used the tablet before? Yeah, I tried it. Okay, so instead of me just throwing you out in these, um, you know, in these things, I suppose, in these, uh, in these settings, I suppose. Right, so just click home. Let's start to go easy. Let's go easy. So home, click home. Yep. So you have the home here. And then if you put your mouse next to the Avi tab, you have a little um, arrow. Yep. Just point out. Then go configure and customize. Okay. And then you'll have all of these that you have to go through individually just to make sure that they're all the same. So we first start with display of variance. Mm -hmm. So we first go fuel gauge and then you copy it. To, so you do the same as mine because I've already done mine. So you basically copy what's on my screen, whoever's going to be master onto my screen. But because I've already, you haven't really sort of done it. So you just copy. Usually the way we would do this is pretty easy. So for the most experienced, what we do is we, is we go... Instead of going fuel gauge, ND display, um, you know, side by side, track up, and blah, blah, blah. We go all down on this side because we already know. So we usually go side by side, track up, yes, 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 no, yes, blended, none. Because what's that doing is that they just follow it on this side. So you only need to copy this side. You don't need to say IRS position yeah, line, no, blah, 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 yes. So you can just say side by side, track up. But you don't go side by side, track up, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> do you know what I mean? <laughs> you have to go slowly, so side by side, track up, yes, 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 no, yes, blended, none. And then, have you copied that? Yeah. And then you go on to the next page, as you can see here, there's one out of four, so there's two pages. Then you go, no, LED, no, A-O-A-R-A, -A and then two slash three with a three highlighted, so you might have to click it. Click yeah. it for the yeah. three. No, yes, yes, yes. Okay. And then next page, you go no, 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 no. Oh, no. wait, wait, wait. Everything was on yes. Oh, okay. So go no, 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 no. And then the last two on hard. R yeah, then. And then the last page is no, no, orange, auto, yes, flap speeds, and no done and then you go back where it says back here yep and then you go on to hardware mm -hmm. and then you go different your off on off on off 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 just give me a sec yeah so if you need to copy it from my screen okay done and then you go back again and then you now go to realism now, for this flight, we're going to use the align time and the refueling time, both to set to short, just because of this tutorial. But uh -huh. you can usually put it on real. If it's real, it takes about seven minutes to, for that to align, blah, blah. I'll show you later. Okay. But you go short, short, off, on, off. That's very important. Okay, this is one of the settings that when you start it, it's usually on default. It's on CWX, control wheel steering. Okay? Mm -hmm. That needs to go to off. Because what happens sometimes is that you get discrepancies and your yoke moves. And every time that moves, your autopilot is going to disconnect. Uh. So your yoke movement needs to go to off. Because even if you touch your yoke, okay, nothing happens. Okay. So short, short, off, on, off, simply, off, and simple. Okay. And the parking brake remembers another one that needs to go on to simply. Keep it at simple. Don't go to real because if you go to real, <laughs> you're gonna have problems. Honestly, <laughs> it's it's such a nightmare. That is one of the couple of settings. Okay, so visuals. 
Yep. Now, this one is a lot here is it is um, is optional. So I use XE because I'm using X Enviro. So, ah. but if you want, you can use Ski Effect, which is like a better rain. You'll get that. But it's um, you know, I mean, um, okay. Let me show you how rain looks. Okay. But I don't have um, X Enviro. No, you don't need rain. Uh, you don't need X Enviro. So. If you, uh, oh, that's not going to rain, is it? Okay, but if I turn this off, okay, so this is on this effect. Can you see it on screen? Yeah, yeah. That's the rain effect. This is the ski effect. So. When you actually wipe it, it actually does look pretty cool. Now, ski X Enviro and Ski are sort of the same as this, but if you're having problems with Ski, sometimes it crashes for a lot of people. I just use on, and you get this effect. It's not as good as, you know, Ski, but you know, it still does the best. Mm. It, you know, as what it what it could. So um, that's all it does. It's a different effect. You might get like a nicer effect here, like on ski, for example. It, this is a nice effect. This is a nice, nice little raindrops, but we won't worry about that. So just let's put that to clear. Then I'll go back to X Enviro and switch my X Enviro to on. Great. So I'll put it to on, I guess. Yeah, just put it to on if you want. Yep. Okay. And the windshield reflections, you can go. So uh on on yeah. on on hide on off 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 okay and then general config this is another one that's important depending on how you do the fly plan which we'll get that to another lesson it's pounds in which is for inches radio show off cold and dark on fmx and sim okay and then this next page is off and then the headset radio I'll go first officer, you go captain because you're captain. Okay. Okay. And then Yep, that's it. And then the audio. Just make sure that the PN volume on page two. Uh, sorry, I pay apology. It's on page one, it's set to zero. Okay, okay did, uh, what is this? Uh that's just the it's the it's the one that calls a V1, V2, V2, ah, V3. Right. So, you know, it's it's some just it just so it doesn't overlap myself. Okay. So it's uh, it's me. Okay, so we need to save these settings, okay? Uh -huh. For next time we load up. So we go to home. Yeah. And then there's a little thing that says save and load configuration. Yeah. And then we just simply go quick save all the config files, or if you really want to be fancy, we click it a couple of times. I click it a couple of times all the time. <laughs> I go manage presets and I save the preset. Don't load, save the preset. Okay? Save the preset. Okay? Because next time I load in with you, I now know that I can just load preset one, and that's just the settings that I'm going to have in there for you. If you load in with someone else, if you remember, I think they should really have names, which would have been nice, because then you you know you know. But you can load up different presets here and stuff. But you don't need it. Okay, so go to home. Yep. Okay. So. Um, we're just gonna text the connection. So what I'm, what's gonna happen is I'm gonna so if you expand you can. And expand it and shut up the smart code pilot. So when you connect, usually when you connect, you can just bring it down to the bottom. I usually just leave it down at the bottom. Okay, so in this case, I'm gonna click join, and then if there's an error, it will tell it will tell us what the error is. So I'm gonna click and bring. You should have something, and it'll say accept. Oh, oh, I don't have the config. Okay, okay, okay. that's fine. That's fine. Okay, so let's click that. So that's one problem I did. I did think it's fine. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna send you a config file really quick. 
You don't have to leave your X plane. Okay. What you do is you simply put that inside your aircraft folder. Hang on two seconds. I'm just going to get my vape while you do that. Yep. So that will go inside your Zebo folder. Apologies. That's all. Okay, done. Should we try again? Okay, now we're going to try and then we can get to the next lesson. We should. There we go. Cool. Nice. That's what we like. Okay, <laughs> so technically, you should be able to see me moving the flaps. Uh, mm, yes. But you can. Try again, try again. Okay, yeah. Okay, it's a bit laggy. I don't know why. Did you turn off your wet? Okay, so let's quit that a second. Go to your settings again. Yep. Yeah. And is your sync weather on? It is. Okay, turn it off. Because that's going to cause trouble. See, that on my side, because it was what was happening. Is that again? So you now know. So because what was happening here was you're transferring me the weather to me, uh -huh. but because I've already have weather, it was loading your weather and my weather, and it was causing me to lag. I see. I see. Okay. So uh, take that off. So it's you do usually ask the person. Okay. As you know, you do usually ask. Do you want to take your own weather or do you want to take my weather? Mm. And they they often say, okay, I could take my weather if you <laughs> have like for example Active Sky or. I could take your weather. So if they want to take your weather, what you need to do is you need to stop any program, for example, like <coughs> any program that delivers that weather. So for me, it's X Environment. For someone else, it might be NOAA. For another person, it might be Active Sky. So you need to stop them before you connect. Okay, so we already know that it connects. So again, we're going to try that. Awesome. That works. Okay, so I'm less laggy. So now that should... That should definitely. Okay, so do you know before we get into any of this? Do you know how? Have you read through as to how? It doesn't matter if you haven't. As to how this academy works. No. So the only thing I did was I have the X checklist. Yeah. And I went through it. I tried the the buttons, but I don't know what they do really. Like the packs, I guess it's the air, okay. air conditioning. That's or, fine, man. Yeah. So tell tell me a little bit about yourself. Why do you want to learn Zebo? Tell me a little bit about yourself. Educate me about yourself. Hmm. So I'm. Tell um, me something interesting. Ma, I'm a PPL uh, pilot. And P -P PPL, like yeah. yeah. And um, I don't know. I want to try the the, the IFR. Right. And, and maybe be uh, an airline pilot. What, one day or? I was trying to to do the lessons um, this summer, but you know, with the corona, it's... Yeah, it's, it's a bit annoying, isn't it? Yeah. Okay, that's cool. Do, do you fly uh, real life or? I don't, but um, a lot of the guys, I mean, I have, a, I have been flying since 2004, roughly. I, we're going way back to FS... 2004 when I started flying properly, but I used to fly, you know, FS 2000 and all that, but not properly, not properly. Yeah, back then it was different to now. <laughs> I f would mostly start properly in FSX. That was my main problem. Uh, do you fly Prepare 3D as well, or? I do, and there's a lot of people in here that do as well. Um, uh, you have so. If you look on the Discord on the side, if you go to each uh, well, from here, from the train room, you can actually see. So, they've got a couple of tags on them. Mm -hmm. So, you've got the mod rays, you've got the admins, you've got the smart code pilot developers, which they make config files for this, you know. So, in order to connect, you need the config file. Do you know the file that I sent you? That's a config file. Okay, yeah. Um, so, you need to, so before we go anywhere, in the channel above, Below, sorry, news. So if you look 
on your channel if you got your uh, Zebo and Smart Copilot. You need to always keep an eye on that. Okay. Because Zebo always gets updated. They always have the patch, so make sure you always have the latest patch. And also you always have that the latest Sky for Crew config file. That's very important. That's what you send me. Okay. Yeah, that's what we have. But I've got the old one, but it, it works. It works and that's all it matters. So we do need to update the Sky for Crew seven. So it says if you look Claude Rollier. So you usually get a file, you get that file and you extract it and it has a bunch of other stuff in there that you don't really need it, like overlay and shit. You don't really need that. So you just need the smart co pilot um config file that's what you need mm. yeah, unless you use any of the other like terrain radar or um i think there was another one there but you don't need it but i'll show you that another time it's not needed okay so how are we uh before we get a move on okay so how the uh, i explain to you how the academy works so if you don't know you have your p factor so you have p1 p2 p3 p4 and p5 so Congratulations on your P1. That's where you start. So I'll nice. give that to you now. Awesome. Okay. So you. on your P1, we're going to go through the very first basics because you told me you're on about a two in an honestly. Mm -hmm. Or do you reckon you're below that? Because I need an honesty so I know where to start roughly. No, I'd say, the, I'd say it's two out of ten. Two out of ten. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to go through the basics. So today's flight, we're not going to be able to do a full flight. Because I thought you were a little bit higher, but that's fine. <laughs> what we're going to do is we're going to take off. I'm going to program the aircraft. Yeah. Okay. So don't worry about anything. What I just want you to do is I just want you to get a feel for the aircraft. And okay. what we're going to do is we're going to take off from runway. Let's have a look. So we're going to take off. We're going to push back. You're going to learn about pushback and how to use it if you don't know. So we're going to push back and we're going to learn about taxiways. Do you know much about taxiways and how, where to go? A little bit, not so much. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to educate you on that. I'm going to suggest you some apps. So we're going to go through the very first basics. So we're going to go push back. We're going to taxi to the runway, which is going to be usually for this departure is going to be 06 left. Okay. We're going to push back. You're going to taxi. I'm going to give you a couple of taxi instructions. And we're going to taxi through that. We're going to take off as runway 06 left. And what's going to happen is we're going to climb to roughly about 6,000 feet. Okay. Mm -hmm. So from 6,000 feet, you're going to remain at that height. You're then going to, I'm going to give you some instructions, some headings. We're going to use the autopilot. We're going to, you know, use fly by hand. And then we're going to give you a couple of instructions. And hopefully when we turn back around, you'll land back at runway 06 left on you know landing so you're going to take off and land so i'm not here to see how well you land or how well you take off i just want you to get a feel for the aircraft first which is very important instead of just going from a to b which is going to be a little bit complex complicated okay i want you to um just get a feel for the aircraft and that's sort of the first lesson it's just once you get through that, then we can go on to your P2. And then your P2 is going to be a little bit more in terms of, you know, programming the FMC. So it, it's afraid there's going to be the boring stuff. So programming the FMC, we're going to go through cold and dark. And um, so that will be probably, I could probably do it tomorrow if you're about. But depends how well you go today. Sounds so, good, yeah, yeah. No, no, it's good. Um, it's good to to do the taxi take off and yeah, yeah. Yeah. So we're gonna go through the basics and then we're gonna go through the FMC. Well, do a cold and start cold and dark state. You know, mm -hmm. so you're gonna be programming it, use a proper light, and then again we're gonna be taxiing. We're gonna take off and then I'll figure us a little route where we can land and take off. And then on sort of your P3 where you're a little bit more comfortable, you know, we're switching on the aircraft. I'll then teach you about SIDs right. and STARS and how to approach them and where to go. And then we'll get you, if you want, we can put you, start going on VATSIM and I'll start doing some training with you on VATSIM. 
But first, it's very important that we get you down to the basics. Yeah, yeah, for sure. So, Maybe later in Vatsim. <laughs> yeah. So don't be scared with Vatsim because we used to have a guy called Crazy here. Yeah. He never used Vatsim yeah. before. <laughs> never used Vatsim and he was shit scared, okay? But we got him there and now he's really, really comfortable with that. He's really, he's like a regular, he's, a, he's a, an ATC tower. Really? So you'll get there. And then you're going to go onto your P4. By your P4, you should be able to, you know, go on VATSIM, do, you know, flights, regular flights. And then when you get your P4, you can then choose to go to your P5. And your P5 is going to be a little bit more scary. So you'll have a real life pilot. Well, you'll have two. So yeah, I'll give you one. Um, they're going to be your testers for the day, and you're going to have an hour's flight roughly with one of these guys, and they're going to observe you. They're not going to tell you what to do, and it's going to be a test to pass you onto your P5. So yeah. that's how it works. Now, cool. with these, okay, these are the only very first basic. We only teach you sort of the very fun fundamentals of flying fundamentals okay we don't teach you this is how pilots do it this is how it's supposed to be done because there's a lot of things that we do that's going to be wrong and that they don't do we do it simulator way that's what we like to call it simulator way okay so first and foremost okay so if you look up on the aircraft mm -hmm. you're going to switch it on so we're going to go a little bit faster and then uh, and then i'll program the fmc okay so do you know what to do from here without looking anywhere? Without looking on Google or anything? Uh, battery on. Do you know what? Yep, so go ahead, put the battery on. Awesome. So, what do you think we need to do next? Do we need the ground power or? We do need the ground power. And But I need the Avitab, right? Or? Uh, no, so we got ground power. How do we know we got ground power? Uh, I don't know. Now. Uh, ground power here, available. Hmm. Yep, you have the blue light, so you can go ahead and I usually, what I do is I usually go battery, ground power, yep, but let's say for example, <laughs> let's say for example, okay, let's say for example, we have no ground power, uh -huh. so in this case, Let's say, for example, we don't have ground power. What do you do? What do you think we do? APU, I guess. And do you know how to start the APU? Um, it's APU start. Do I need something yeah. else? No, not, that's it. Huh? Yes. Okay, so before we start the APU, okay, so if we start in... So let's say, for example, from your side, okay? So if we start in the airplane, so we whack on the battery. Mm -hmm. If we start from ground power... Usually, I don't do, I don't do this until secondly. I do this third. So I go ground. So I go. So say for example, we're doing ground power. So I do battery, ground power, and then there's one switch here which everybody forgets, which is the strobe and position. Uh, I once you have the stay. battery on. Yeah. So I got. I do ground power. <coughs> mm -hmm. Ground. Uh, sorry, I do battery, ground power, and then that to steady. Because that is a strobe light. Well, that is what you... Yeah, it's a strobe light that lets you know the ground crew. It's like a beacon. Mm. That just lets you know, okay, where this aircraft is in operation. So never forget that. Because a lot of people forget that. I forget that. So st stick that to steady. And that stays on steady until the aircraft goes completely off. Okay. And that's and, just to let the... And what's the Go difference on. between the battery and the ground power? Because okay, so the battery you're basically providing battery to the power, uh, well, battery to the aircraft. So you're doing the battery. Mm -hmm. So you've now got electrics, but you haven't got full electrics. Okay, you haven't got full electrics. You just got the main sort of circuit going. Right. You don't have the screens or. You will have the screens. If you look at your screens, you will have the screens. Huh. So this is just the main stuff now going on. But we need power to the actual, you know, to generate enough power to boot up the whole aircraft. Well, to just get the main packs and everything going. So we can either use ground power 
or we can use APU. Now, mm. to start APU, what we do is we do that first. Yeah. And then, after I do the battery, I then go here, down here, and I do an APU test. Ah. Now, I do one side, and then I do another side, and wait for all these three to align. Cool. And then I do the extinguishers. One two so you have the the thingies right uh, yep. the arrows and that's the you know and then i do the cargo test boom right and that's the the second thing so i do uh sorry battery apu test and then i should start the apu now the apu goes like this you put it just on put it to start and you hold it for three seconds that light is going to shine up. Wait. And now I'll go back to on. Uh, which light? Low, low oil? Yeah, low oil pressure. Now, okay. if you watch that, um, if you watch that uh, little thingy, uh -huh, yeah, little pressure, that's going to go to eight and then it's going to go back to four. When that goes back to four, APU generator is going to go on. If you go at the back outside the aircraft, you can hear it start. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so nice. we go back in. Mm -hmm. Now watch that little needle, the pressure gauge go up. Now yeah, it's going down. And that's going to go down to four. This button's going to align. And I'll teach that in the second lesson exactly how to do it because I'm going to do tests on you and see how well you learn. So <laughs> that's going to go. So then we've got AP generators on the bus. So we do generator one, generator two, and boom. we got everything's fully operational. And then we do the left pump to provide jet. Um, I forgot my last name again. Uh, that is needed. I forgot what it was called. I will do some research on that. I'm pretty sure that's needed. And then finally, I do that and set it to steady. And that lets the ground crew know. Now, it's not an essential button, but just make sure. Just for, just, you know, for real. It's like, yeah. Okay. Now, that's so, on. So, so just cool. a question a fuel pump was only no. the first one, huh? Just the first one, and that's to provide power to the generators. I'm pretty sure it's something to do with the AP. I forgot what it was now. I completely forgot. Okay. I know there is a meaning behind it. Okay, so now, if you mm. look, you can switch all these, and that has power. Now we've got to power. APU stands for auxiliary power units. That's in case we don't have any ground power, and you're not always going to have ground power. Okay. Okay. Just in case, just remember, and I'll take. Don't worry. Actually, forget about that. Forget about that. And then <laughs> that's done. So this is done. So that's that's here done. Okay. Now what I like to do is I like to go to the top here, and I just like to set all my lights. So I like to set all my lights. There's some lights here everywhere. I'll just set them up. So I'm not going to bore you much, so I'm going to do this pretty quick. Not until the second lesson. And then I go up here, and I test flaps and cool. And then I set my IRSs to a line on both. Wait them to a line. I make sure that my interphone is off. I can do the flight recorder, make sure that sounds normal. I set the test. So IRS is like the GPS or? Yeah, you're just a line. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And usually that the stall warnings won't walk, won't work just yet. So then I work from here. So that's the stall warnings. Uh -huh. um, sorry, that's the, the overspeed warnings. The stall warnings won't work, not unless we program the SMS FMC. So what we do is after we've done this section, instead of working down here, what we do is we go to the FMC. Okay. We click FMC, position initialization. And I'll tell you all about this. Don't worry if I'm going too quick. So uh, we put the airport that we're on. CYZ. And then put gate Charlie 30. We can be fancy about it. And then it's going to ask us to put something in here. So I just go next page. Get that. Oh, I put another one in there. Put it in there. Boom. That's going to align. Cool. And now, now you have to put the damper on it. Is that normal? It's 
but the Okay, if that doesn't do anything, that will eventually. I forgot one uh, button. So I just work from here, work down, so everything looks here normal, everything looks here. Ah! Uh huh. No. <laughs> we'll, find, we'll find out in, in a sec. So I just switch these. Pretty sure it's one of these. So we're going to. 8,000. Pretty sure it's a goddamn thing here. <laughs> so we're gonna go 0, 06 on the left. So we're gonna use Canadian 1229 as the full sign. And I'll tell you what, before we do, after we've done that, what I like to do, don't take much notice of this because like, you will be taught this. But I just want you to uh, paint a little 13,000. Let's take pounds. Let's take eight thousand. Let's take about five thousand. Gonna have fuels on wings. That's nice. Does that work? There we go. Nice. All right. So that's done. Go to. We got our sit archers. So we're gonna go uh, runway six to the left. Take. My favorite one, that kept it to a little transition. Activate that. We're not going to worry about that anything else here. Like I said, don't take much notice of this. You will be taught this. Don't worry. Zero eight zero. I would. I'm not even going to do the wings today. Let's take great. Perhaps five. So, we're going to do 1, 3, 2, just, like I said, just ignore. We're going to a heading really quickly. We're going to, let's say 8,000. I want to see you fly up to 8,000. And we can activate our VNAVs. Right, so, the next thing I want you to do is to simply so go to your plugins yep go to better pushback yep and it says here start pushback now you're gonna have a little thing i can't see it on your screen you're gonna have a little thing hey captain let me know where you want this thing arrow keys and you need to line us back up so it is gonna look something like so you use your wheel on your mouse yep. to go back here. And you basically, what you need to do is you're going to have a view that looks very similar to this. Mm -hmm. And you need to come here, you need to put the aircraft in a way. So you put it in the way that we're looking facing that way. So it's going to face this way. So if it's from there, you need to put the aircraft to look into this position. So anyway, on the line here. As closest to the line as you can, like, as you can from here. I press it and then press enter. And I'll mark it and press enter, and it should work. Great news, Captain! Your toe's coming. Right, cool. Well done. Now, the toe's coming up, so we can then put our pumps on. So we do one, two, three. We can now put the anti-collision light, the beacon, to let them know that this aircraft is about to push back and we wait for it to push us back first. <sighs> right, awesome. So, remember I'm not here to judge you how well you, uh, how well you do. All That's right, nice. looks like the doors and hatches are closed and we're ready to connect. There we go. He's now going to connect. The first lesson is just the breather to see how well you are in terms of controlling the aircraft. That's when you don't need to 
to work or anything. It's just a bit of fun. Yeah. So which is the better uh, X-Plane or Prepare 3D? Both have their negatives and positives. Mm. Uh, for me, I prefer ooh, I prefer the P3D for planes and I prefer X-Plane for physics. Alright, so you can release the park and brake there. Okay. Welcome aboard, Captain. Toes connected, bypass pins inserted. Back. Go ahead and kill the parking brake when you're ready to go. Okay, so he's now telling us we can start a. Here comes the pushback. Light him up. Airport. We're not going to start until. Uh oh. There we are. So we're not going to. Oh. Pushing us back. There we go. So we're not going to start until we twist. What I like to do is I like to push it all the way back until we. T when we start the turn. So to start the engines, what we do is you have the ignition left and right. So switch the ignition to right first. Can you do it in the middle, right? And then there's a little switch there that has it on auto next to the ignition. Switch it to ground, right? And now watch your screens in there. Oh, shit, sorry, I forgot something. Right, before you do that, sorry, my bad. You need to set your packs, this is very important. So we set the APU bleed that needs to come off and the packs need to go to off. Otherwise it won't start. So then you can switch it. Now watch your watch your engine. It's gonna spool up here. And once that hits 25, what you're gonna do is you're gonna grab that lever number two and you're gonna put it on there straight away. Okay, Ready? once at 25. Once that says 25. So 25. No, yeah. There you go. And that's gonna stabilize. So yep. Yeah. And then that's gonna the the thing is gonna ask us to um, uh, put the parker brake on mm. at that point. So that's one done so we now switch it to left we put the ground just about done here go ahead and set your parking brake so set the parking brake awesome He's and disconnect. we're disconnecting the tow give me just a moment so 25 25 yeah yeah I'm just setting up my joystick. Awesome. He's then going to ask you on screen to disconnect. Yep. So you should have a little button disconnect. Set the pipes to five. Those both to continuous. Switch the APU. Oh, what's going on? Oops, sorry, that's me. Yeah, yeah that's fine. And we're disconnected. Signal and pin on the left. Take it easy and have a safe right. flight. Bypass, please be seated over departure. Alright, so cool. That's cool. That needs to go off. Okay, no, that flight. needs to go off. You keep putting that up, so that needs to go off. Oh, because I have it on my joystick. Ah, oh, I see. So you need to um, you optimize that. Wait, just give me. Ah, here we go. This is off. Yeah. Yep. Okay. So okay. what you're gonna do is you're gonna taxi down here, uh, and you're gonna enter uh, right. Uh, taxiway Alpha Julia, and I'll tell you how you can see Alpha Julia. So if you go forward, so if you, what you want to do Parking is way. right. I'm going to request you. I'm going to request the control. So pass it on to me. On this part, right. So what you're going to do is you're going to release the park and brake, yeah. right? And you're going to add about this number. 
just three and wait for the aircraft to go slowly. Now on here you can see GS, that's your ground speed. So you don't really want to exceed um, 30, but 30 is fast. Okay. In each corner that you're taking you don't want to do it more than 10, just for a stable. So have make sure what I do is I add a little bit bring it back down so I have it about here so I use you might need some buttons for the rudder don't go into your settings yet otherwise you'll be behind me so here so I'm following this as you can see there it says in black Alpha Juliet and then it has Al a Alpha left and right that means you're on Alpha Juliet and then left or right is alpha, so we already know we're in alpha. Hmm. Alright, so we just taxi it very, very slowly here. So you can see I'm not doing, for the corners, I'm not doing more than 10 the ground speed. So for here, what I like to do is I just like to kind of keep nice and slow. So if I'm going a bit more quiet, apply brakes. So for me, the ground speed is stuck at zero. Yeah, sometimes it does. It's um, sometimes it can be like little bugs. Okay. Like that, that can happen. Right. So I'm not my my brake my brakes are. Right. So I'm gonna stop here. All right. So let's put parking brake here. All right. So, request the controls. <laughs> right, so now it's your turn. Remember, use a little bit. Oops. At least spark and break, yep. So, so now three. this, yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, okay. So, this is. little bit yeah so yeah you can use it a little bit you can go a little bit faster so is your ground speed moving now no it's still still, it's still zero. zero yeah yeah that's bizarre uh, that's bizarre maybe it's just a discrepancy somewhere sometimes it happens okay so now we're on bravo uh yeah we're on bravo now well done so we're on Bravo, so what we're going to do is we're not going to take this right. We're going to carry on straight forward. Okay. So just uh, keep it at that speed. Don't, don't, uh, so we'll uh, take this right here. Okay. Follow this yellow line here. So lose a little bit more speed, so apply your brakes. So you don't want no small speed. So just keep at this normal speed. So this is a good taxi speed. So bring all the throttles all the way back. There you go. Let the, the, let, let the aircraft to just uh, do its thing. It's very important that you know these basic steps because um, a lot of the time you might, uh, for example, that sim, they'll ask you to taxi. So it's very important that you follow just the ground speed rules yeah. right so uh, so what we're going to do is we're not going to take this right but the next right so what we do is we start losing some speed in a minute so I start I by this point I start touching my brakes if I'm at 24 so you're at 24 now so Start touching your brakes slowly. There you go. Just keep going. Keep going. This right? No, the next one. No, the next one. Okay. So brake a little bit more. So you don't want to do it more than ten. So brake, 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 brake. There you go. There you go. A bit too much. Yeah. So <laughs> it's uh, it, like I said, it's just anticipation. Um, nothing to it so we cross this one on the right here it's 
so you can give us some more gas. So like I said, ten or more, but you can't see, which is a bit annoying. So, oops. It's all right. You don't have to be perfect. Is your ground speed? See, on your screen, there's nothing. No, it says, no, it's empty. So this is okay. zero six right. Yeah. I know thirty three. That's thirty three. So we keep going down here. I just want to give you. Well, the reason we did this airport is because it's big, it's yeah. easy to maneuver, and it's. Um, so don't give it any more gas than there already is. So just let, let it, let the aircraft do its thing. See, like I said, um, I don't know if you can see on my screen. So, twenty-four. So no more than thirty, and I'll keep it on the threshold of. 25 and 10 between them just uh... so maybe my screen is off should I press right, we're gonna fix that in a sec yeah don't worry we're gonna disconnect and then uh, reconnect it might just be your it just might be that you So where, where are you looking? Are you looking at the uh, speed in your main screen, where it says forty-five? Well, actually, both screens are are buggy. Like the horizon screen, I don't have the horizon. The horizon. Like the Did blue and. Uh, All right. So lose some speed. Yeah. So. I'll go and put screen. the parking brake. Yeah. Right, let's have a look. Oh, you're in green. What? It's green, your screen's green. Uh, wait. Okay, let's just disconnect here a second, right? Is your horizon better now? Uh, no. I can't see what your screen looks like, so. So your horizon doesn't look anything like me. No, it doesn't. Ah, it is green. <laughs> yeah, it's it's green, yeah. <laughs> so what does your horizon look like? Uh, I'll do um a screen capture. Like ah, this. right. Yeah. That's not a line. Right, it's a line. Right. Um, okay, okay. So, it's fine. It's fine. Okay, so in your FMC, sometimes it happens. So, in your FMC, uh -huh. are you on here? On on what? On on your FMC. I, I am I am on my MC, FMC. Let me just share. Right, you on here, yeah? Um, Can you see my mouse? Yeah, yeah. Okay, here, on position, click position it. Can you see this bit? Uh, give me a sec. Where I am, on the FMC. No, I am on departure arrival. So go, go menu. Menu. Yep. FMC. Yep. Position initialization. Um. Where's that? Where's the button? Right. Sorry. Menu. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Yeah. And then FMC. Yeah. And then there's a as a little line there. Click yeah, yeah. on that. Yeah. And then at the bottom it says oh, position yes. initialization. Okay. Right. What does it say here? Does it have some squares? Yes. Right. So what I want you to do is I want you to go next page. Next page. Click next to left. Now we'll copy that number. Yeah. Go back previous page. Okay. And then paste it on there. Line selected with that. Okay. Execute. Yeah. Okay. Done. All right. Oh, now I now. have the screen. So yeah, yeah. All right. So rejoin. 
Right, now let me... Right, go to the main menu. Quick main menu. Menu, yes. Right, cool. Can you see me moving it now? And um, Yes, but slowly. Maybe if you go too fast, it doesn't sync up. Yeah, hang on, hang on. It's... Uh, what does it say on here? Is it still, can you see this screen now? Yes, I can. All right, cool. It's because I can't see your screen, so it's really annoying because I don't know where you are. Uh, can you see this? Can you see Captain 2 and Bumper Transition? No. Okay, so... Right. Six left. Does that highlight for you? Uh, no. Okay. Uh, have you... Okay, it might be an issue of... Have you updated your FMC? Mm, I never Does touch it. That's why. Huh? That's why. That's where your problem is. That's where your problem is. So it hasn't updated. So we're going to just take off today. But for tomorrow's lesson or next lesson, I want you to. There's, there's something you need to update. And that's your. Um, it's going to be your FMC. Otherwise, you won't be able to see this. Okay. So I don't actually know what the hell you have. It won't. Right. On your screen, click departure. Departure and arrival. This yes. is going to be a bit of a bummer. I didn't really think of this. Well, I'll try I'll try to stream again. Okay, so click on departure arrival. Uh, so green. Yeah. Alright, so click it. And then click on departure. So I should go on there, right? So, no. So, go next page. Uh, next page. Yeah, next page. And look for Kepta. There, 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 there. You missed it. Page three. Well, it doesn't update my screen. It does. What do you mean? Well, it doesn't change the the FMS screen. Hmm. No, no. You see, what happens is because I've got a newer version of the FMC, a way, way much updated version. You, you must have have the uh, the very, very old version. So, on your screen, it will be different. So what we need to do is we need to do it through your screen so then I can see it on my screen. So what you need to do is you need to go, can you see kept at the, up, the, up the top where it says kept to two? No, it's, it's empty for me. What about now? Is there anything there? No, it, it didn't change. Oh boy, I didn't really think of this we might have to well now it changes boy this is gonna be a bit of a bummer this is hang on let me solve that out now you might have to quit hang on but it's fine hang on Ah, uh, now you can see my screen, I think. Alright, can I see your screen? Ah, right, yes. Right, so, uh, go where it says Dep. Uh, dep. This? Up top. Ah. No. Dep, s yeah. S it doesn't do anything when I click. Okay, go in it ref. Uh. Top. Yeah. Okay, so put CYYZ in origin. No, 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 so clear, and back again, keep going until, there you go, and now put it on origin, and then put in CYYZ again, and put it in dest, and now go depart and arrival, now click deb on CYYZ, right, and now put in six left, Zero six. No, 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 no. Where it has six left on the t up the top. Oh there. yeah. There you go. Click it, and then go next page. Mm -hmm. Next page. There you go. Kept to two. And then put BMPA. This one. Yep. And click root. Activates. Executes. Go perf initialization. Click zero fee weight just next to it. Uh, here? Yep. Right, now reserves put zero. 
So put zero reserves, then put 38 and put as cost index, and then flight level put 080 and put it up the flight levels. Well done. Execute. Don't worry about any of the rest. And then go N1 limit. And then click on next to cell a coat on the same line. Uh, no, left, 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 left. Top line, first line, first one. This yep. one? Yep. Right. And then click 24K. No, that's 26K, 24K. There you go. Now go take off. And put, f uh, put five. No, actually, you have to clear that. Yep, there you go. Clear that. Click clear. There you go. And now click on CG. Same line. There you go. Now click it again. Ooh. Why is that doing that? Hang on. So, okay. So, put 23 decimal put point uh, zero and then put it in CG there we go awesome now on those same lines of the V's yeah press one two Oops. and three there uh -huh. we go right right now look at your screens there we go now you have the same thing as me cool all right so now uh, yeah, you can stop that. You can, uh, look at my stream now. Mm -hmm. I'll show you. Now, this bit for takeoff is going to be important, but we're going to update you on your FMC. Okay, so what we're going to do, don't worry about the lights, I'll sort them out. What you're going to do is you're going to take, so you're going to get up to the runway, you're going to bump. So, pass me the controls. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Right, so you see where that thing that says there? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, you're going to put it all the way to four. You're going to wait for that to get to four. Now, wait. Wait until that's stabled. 41.4, boom. Right, and then you're going to click mic on your person, on your side. Okay. So your mic, don't click it now. <laughs> Most people click it now. They always click it now. You're going to click now. And what that's going to do is it's going to activate Tona. And you no longer need to use your throttle. That's all going to do it automatically. Because we have already programmed it here into the FMC. And that will we'll go through over the next lesson. And what we'll do is that that won't go all the way up the top. Can you see it? Where yeah, it goes yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then it goes red. Yeah. Yeah. That goes red. Yeah. You don't want to do that. <laughs> loads of people do that. I don't know why. Because if you program the FMC properly, that won't go thingy. So what that will do is that will go all the way up here, up to here. Okay. And now we'll use it because that's what we program. Okay. As you go, you're going to line up with the runway. So you're going to stay on the runway. Yeah. And then when I say pull back, okay, you're going to pull back slowly on your joystick. And there's going to be in a little pink line that's going to come up. Okay. And you're going to follow that pink line. And I'm going to tell you about the horizontal line and how to keep up with it and how to maintain certain aircrafts. And this is what we're going to go over today. Okay, so I'm going to push, pass over the controls to you. Okay. Release your controls. Okay, and oh. you say, my controls. Well done. So release the park and brake. Go a little bit ahead. So keep going. Is your speed moving yet? Ah, yes, yes. So remember, you want to do no corners, no less than... Uh, 10, you said, huh? 10. So first line, second line? Or this left? Yeah, this left, yeah, okay. that's fine. Now, the reason I'm not telling you about the lights or anything like that program the FMC is because we're going to go over the very first basics first. I want to get you having fun first. I don't want to just preview loads of information because once you have that then we can go over through this bit and then you'll know how to fly Sounds there's good. no point in knowing how to fly and then 
you know what I mean? Getting into the deep end, being like, oh my god, I don't know what to do. And we just program shitload of FMC. So yeah. Just uh, concentrate on the flying. I want you to concentrate on the flying. All right, so you're going to get to the end of the runway. So follow the yellow line. Keep following the yellow line. Don't leave it late. Don't leave it late. Don't leave it late. Follow that yellow line. There we go. Not too much. There we go. Keep going. You got until that yellow line to get yourself sorted. So give it some gas. That's a bit too much to the left. Uh. Go a bit more to your right. There we go. So you want to, if you go a little bit forward, right? A little bit more to the left. A little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit. There you go. Oops. There you go. No, too much. <laughs> so it has to be on your center. It has to be there. You go right in the center, right there. That's you're pretty much center. And the way that I can check it is if I go, I've got a GoPro camera, because I've got X camera. So I've got X camera, and I can tell you that's right and left. So remember, we're going to take off. We're going to maintain this. Have you got a button for rudder? So let's part, uh, let's program this right. Have you got a button for rudder? Can you control the rudders? Can you? Control yeah, I have the a rudders? foot control. All right, cool. So what you're going to do is you're going to keep it in the middle, okay? Remember. So we're going to take off. Add four. Wait for that to go to four, and then what we're going to press? Mic. Right, mic. But there is an alternative. So this is what we're going to do. So have you got any spare buttons on your controls? Uh, yeah. Okay, so go to settings on your X-Plane. Yeah. Go to joystick. Yeah. Sorry, keyboard. Keyboard, sorry. Keyboard. Actually, actually, go to joystick. Apologies. Yeah. And now choose a button that you want to use for Togo. Now I have this number five, which is this button here. So at the back, because that's right at the back of my finger. Uh huh. Sorry, number four, because that's right at the back of my finger. Okay. So that's right at the back of my finger. So I, I can press that at any point for myself. And now I'll activate it. So I just need to press it one. Okay. So you need to click a button first. That E1, so choose a button that's not used at all. So Might is it our uh, left toga? No, it's going to be engaged toga. So you uh, click a button and then you search for engaged toga power. power. Okay. Yeah, and then you click apply. And let me know when you're done. Yeah, I have it. D don't click it. <laughs> And have you got a button for your rudder trip? Uh, yes. Okay, awesome. Okay, so forget about the mic. So 4%, wait for the engine to stabilize, and then press that button. Oh, and then wait, and then click that toga power. Okay. When you click that toga power, you no longer need to ex use your, rib your, your actual um, power. power. Let the aircraft. Concentrate on keeping in the middle. When you get to 190 knots, roughly, okay, I'll tell you. Now, when you get to 131 knots, what's going to happen is I'm going to tell you rotate. I'm going to go V1 at 119. I'm going to go 119 because of two speeds. So, go so wait, where, where's my speed? Rotate. So I'm going to go. Where the, where's look, the speed? Look, uh, on your FM, look on your FMC. Look, look on your FMC. It takes reference. So V1. Yeah. Yeah. Is the speed? Do you know what your V1s, VRs, and rotates are? No. Okay. So V1 is your speed at which you can. So basically, when you're going at this speed, at V1 before V1, at V1 or before that, that is the speed that if anything goes wrong or you have any er errors, okay, that you can still put reverse thrusters and activate reverse thrusters and still come to a stop if it's after that you go on to rotate so which is VR which is the same number and you rotate and that is the safe altitude at which you can start lift that you can generate lift and then V2 is at the point of no return so you have to go to usually is an altitude of 3000 and then you advise ATC so what we're gonna do is I'm gonna say V1 rotates and now as soon as I say rotates you're gonna pull back on the thrust on the on the joystick whatever joystick you have 
Okay. But so whatever joystick. And then on the pink line here in your FMC in your in your screen, there's gonna be a pink line, your horizontal line. That's gonna come up. And you're gonna follow it. So you're gonna bring the aircraft up and you're gonna follow it slowly. And that's gonna take us to an altitude of eight thousand. Actually I'm gonna put Yeah, eight thousand. So we're gonna get to eight thousand, so it's gonna take us to eight thousand and you're gonna not engage autopilot or anything because we've already engaged VNAV and LNAV. And I'll tell you all about that in another lesson. So, have you got any questions? Yes. Uh, okay. Where do I read my speed? Your speed will be here. So, your speed is on the left. Your altitude is on your right. Your map is in the middle. So, if you, for example, have this little thing here, you should have a little box okay yeah so you can actually rotate this box for 5 10 20 40 50 80 and what you'll notice is that this map over here will start moving so look that's the runway oh yeah and you'll actually start feeding so that's all you need to know for now okay, okay. so you don't want to get programmed okay so what you want to do is you want to fly runway heading and how do we find runway heading simple that is your runway heading because you're already facing the runway okay but usually you find this in the charts which we'll find another time so TCAS is off so, just... so we usually t uh, runway heading so you'll find it in the charts which we'll go through eventually but what we'll do is you'll fly in a heading of 057 so whenever you now turn the aeroplane it's gonna s in the air it's gonna switch between headings so you might turn to the right, it's going to go 056, 057, uh, sorry, 058, 059, 60, blah, blah, blah. And you're going to learn about that. So focus for now, focus on your speed, which is going to cover line as soon as we hit 41 knots, 45 knots. It's going to go up. It's going to go 80 knots. I'm going to go 80 knots. And then it's going to go, um, then you're going to keep going. And then the horizontal line is going to pick up there. Okay, so... When you're ready, go for it. Okay, and don't then. worry, don't oh. panic. Oh my god, I'm crashing! Don't do that. <laughs> Just panic. Don't panic. <laughs> we'll get we'll get there eventually. Okay. So I'll tell you. So go stabilize it. Well done. So release the parking brake. Good. Yeah. Let it stable. There you go. And now Togo. Oops. You forgot the button. It doesn't work. Okay, I'll press mic. Try Mike. Mm. Okay, try now. Wait there. Hang on. You need to engage. Try Togo now. Try Togo. Okay. Mm. All right. S stop. Stop on the runway. All right. Hang on. There's something on. All right. Right. You. There's something on your button switching off the the auto throttle. Ah. That's why it's not working. So try, try Toga now, on your button. Oh, it does work. Okay, release the parking brake. There you go. <laughs> okay, it does work. There was some switching it off. Where? All right, so keep it in the middle, within the the lines. Don't worry if you're not perfect. Keep it in the line. So 80 knots. So ready, get ready for the rotate, but don't pull too much. V1 rotates. V1. So pull back. There you go. There's the horizontal line. Follow that pink line. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Keep it there. Keep it there. Don't go above 20. Don't go above 20. Stay there. So gear up. Now there it is. All right there it is. Keep it there. Keep following it. But don't go above 20 degrees. Can you see the degrees? So you have 10 degrees, 20 degrees. Well, the line doesn't work for me. What do you mean the line doesn't work for you? I'm looking at your screen. The, the horizontal line is way down. Way down where? Where is it? It's on the ground. Is it? Yeah. That's bizarre. FMC, end of route. Okay. Uh, <laughs> alright. Uh... Yeah, it's that, uh, what it is, it's, you haven't updated your FMC, so it's going to have problems, so thank God we're not doing a full flight. Mm. Uh, 
Right, okay, so in that case, keep climbing. Yeah, it's going to have shitload of problems uh, with that, so let's set the speed to 240 in auto throttle. So stick at 5,000 for now. Altitude hold. Can you see that button now? Can you see the horizontal line? And still not. Where are we going down? Okay, you click altitude hold. Can you click altitude hold? There. Uh, give me one sec. Like this? Yeah. Does it work? I don't know. You're going down. Okay, so... Yeah, it's gonna have a problem where... What's happened is, is your FMT is not updated, so it's going all over the place. It's not synchronized properly. Hmm. Right, okay. Should we do Does only... This button uh, yeah, it's a, it's a buggy. It's buggy. That's the problem. It's buggy. It's uh... okay. Tell you what. Stop. Uh, stop. Okay. Let's just stop this because otherwise we're not gonna be able to do it. All right. So quit off explain. You should be all right because it doesn't take that long. Oh, okay. So now the date is twenty or four. The what? Yeah, 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 it's done, yeah? 20 yeah, yeah? Yeah. Awesome. So go to menu. Make sure you go to menu. Make sure everything is default. Because. Menu. Yeah, just go menu. Cool. That's it. So connect to me. So let me just start my. Oh my god. Smart copilot? Yes. I forgot. I stopped thinking. So send me your connection again because it's a new one. Yeah. Mango. Boom. All right. So, oh shit, my bad. All right. So, slave. There we go. All right. Cool. Nice. That should. Right. Now you should go to your FMC and see if you can see. Go to your FMC. Yep. And see if you see me doing this. If something's yes. missing. It should be better now. Yes, it's way, way better. Yeah, I told you. That's what it was. Cool. Alright, so... Did you have a lot of um, students before? Or? Yeah, yeah, we have quite a few. Hmm. It's super nice. Yeah, man. Who, me? No, well, yes, you, but, I mean, in general, the... Yeah, we're alright. We're a good community, man. Um... You know, we look after ourselves, you know, we respect everyone that's in here. We teach everyone and we came up with this idea that, uh, you know, it's um, good to help the community and we have real life pilots in here and, you know, we help each other and, you know, we have group flights. Oh, and, and is uh, VATSIM on explain or prepare 3D? Vasim is both. Oh. Can you see both planes on the same on X plane? I mean, could what you? What do you mean on Vasim? Can you both play? In if I play on X plane, can I see a pilot from P three D? No, you, you yeah, of course you can. Yeah, if you have the right model matching. Ah. If you want to go on P three D, I will teach you about that. But if you don't, it's it's entirely up to you. But uh, in most circumstances, yes, you can. Oh, cool. That you, to your question. Okay, so we're going to take total payload, I don't know, uh, 17,000. Uh, 17,000. Standard. Okay. No, actually, we're going to take 5,000. Insufficient. Shut your mouth. It is insufficient. So zero fuel weight is twenty three point five. Three point five. Awesome. And you can see all this, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Awesome. Of course it will work. Okay, so I'm gonna just program this really quick. 
Okay, so same situation again. We shouldn't have any problems now. Okay, so. Got a button for your gear there. Okay, so. Remember. Um. Follow this number, so as you switch, you'll follow this number, so carry on on 057, which is our heading. Keep an eye on, uh, on your altitude, your eye on your speed, so again, so remember, so let's go. So go four, wait for the engines to stabilize. Oh boy. <laughs> is, it, is it not going? There you go. What about now? Ah, thank you. Okay, so let's go, and then toga. Huh. It disconnected yeah. again. Yeah, it keeps disconnecting. I don't know why. Try now. Yeah, that's the button there. You have that's conflicting <laughs> with that. Should I press mic? N yeah, you should. Oh, I pressed twice. Sorry. All right, stop. Stop a second. Come to a stop. Okay. Okay. So you have a button that's conflicting with that. You have to find out what that button is. Okay, so joystick. So I would go joystick and I tell you what, uh, go keyboard. Yeah. Uh, search for. Uh, auto throttle arm. See if there's anything on there. No, it's empty. I have. Yeah. I have engaged to get power on F13 as well. F13. On the keyboard. So you've got this button. And that button is not doing anything else. The same button that you pre that you press for Toga is not doing anything else, no? No, it's... So click that button, right? Then go to keyboard and search keys. Uh, Okay, let's try that again. So, auto throttle arms. Okay, so you engage auto throttle. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh, auto throttle. Yeah. Now, now, yeah, that's something there. It's uh, conflicting with it. It's a little button. You're, you're, it's being conflicted because that's disengaging it. Mm -hmm. uh, try press Toga now. Ah, interesting. Okay, don't worry about that. Keep it in the middle. Okay. Oh, yeah. Interesting. There we go. Rotate. Right, now you should see the horizon line. Yeah, I see it. You see it? Yep. Keep following up. Keep following it. No, over 20 degrees. So gear up. So that's 10 degrees. The next where it says 20, look on your horizon. Where that pink line is now, that's 20. Okay, so bring it down. There you go. But don't go over that. Okay. If it tells you to go over, don't go over. There we go. Nice. Bring it down. Bring it down. Concentrate on that horizon line. There we go. So small movements. There you go. Now it's bringing you all the way back down to 10 degrees. Okay. Now what we're going to do is we're going to go to 4,000. So keep on heading on 059. So it flaps up. Gears locked. Okay, great. Keep following that pink line. It's very important that you follow that pink line all the time. Just go up, bring it up. You're just below it. Follow it. 
There we go. Follow it. Much closer. Needs to be on the line. That needs to be. So pause that there. Uh, so pause this in. Okay. So can you see my screen? Yeah. That black thing and that line, they need to be both in the middle. You need to aim them for as much as possible. Can you see my mouse? Yeah. 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 Okay. So that line, that pink line needs to be in the middle there. That's the perfect zone. Okay. okay. That's where you need to be. Okay. Don't worry about this line. Your vertical. Just horizontal. Okay. Okay. Because your your vertical is for this line, just following that pink. Okay. So just this line for now. Okay. So. So at the moment it's at four thousand. There you go. Nice. So we're going to just put the speed to two four zero. Watch your pink line. Bring it up first. Bring it up. You're descending. There you go. You want to do it slowly. Just follow your pink line. Your pink horizontal line. There you go. There we go. So if you release the parking the request, so just release it. Yeah, give me a sec. Right. Yep. Right. There you go. Look. Look. Watch me. Look. Just watch my horizontal line. So I'm just focusing on that. Doing small. I'm not going like this, I'm not going like that, I'm just doing small movements, okay? Because then you're going to struggle, because then you're going up and down, right? So I'm just doing small b movements, right? No. I'm not doing over dramatic movements. If I'm, uh, you know, if I'm a little bit below, I just do small movements slowly. I look at my altitude, I look at my speed. And then when I get to here, then I can tweak. You know, then I could tweak my my thing, uh, my my trim. Don't touch your trim until you're comfortable with it 100%. You don't touch your trim when you're going up and down. You touch your trim when you're, you know, you're comfortable in that position. So here, now I'm not going to go all the way up and down, so I trim it. There you go, see? A little bit up. Mm. Let it, see? Now I'm keeping it that position. It's going to be a bit bumpy, so... I keep at that position. So you request the controls, and I want you to see you try. So just I, my horizontal oh. line is um, is on the ground. It's minus ten degrees. What's minus ten degrees? The pink bar, pink line. So I'm watching your screen. It's minus ten degrees. Yeah. What? So it's down there? Yeah. 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 What about now? Oh, it's going up. That's bizarre. Yeah, now it's the same as your screen. Okay, so now follow that big line. Like this, huh? Don't look at my screen, focus <laughs> on your screen. <laughs> look, you need to bring a bit. I don't know if it's, uh, I don't know how it is with your screen. Yeah, it's not exactly the same. It's not exactly the same, is it? I wonder why, because you're the you're the master. It's just uh, does it say four thousand up on the um, altitude? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Now I want you to turn on the heading. Uh, turn left heading zero two zero. So left turn. <coughs> yep, left turn is heading to zero three zero. Okay. While well, maintaining four thousand. There we go. Awesome. So, so if you pause in there a second. Yeah. Okay. So you see where that line is, that triangle. Yeah. That's going to be that you're straight so there is zero and then that's is 10 degrees and that's 20 degrees it's 30 degrees now we never go over 30 degrees okay. <laughs> over 30 degrees because if you go over that so 5 10 uh, uh, yeah 10, 10 20 yeah. 30 okay yeah now if you go over 30 
Yeah, so if you go over this curve. Bank angle. Oh, yeah. Bank See? Angle. See? So you don't want to go too much. Right, there you go. So that is, now is on 20, so you can do it a little bit more of a notch. And at different altitudes, you don't do it more than 30. And as you get higher, you do less. Hmm. So keep going until your heading says three two zero. Okay. So you want to do it slowly. You don't want to do it over the top. Now pause it there a second, and you see where this line is here. Mm -hmm. That's where I put the heading mug. Oh, okay. So as you move, as you heading change. So, so now you know. So, and you see that move that the uh, number here yeah. track. Yep, that's your current heading. So at the moment you're 339, you're going to 338, 330. So as you get closer, now you're going to straighten up the airline. Just the, you know, there you go. You want to do a small move. Watch your altitude. Ooh. 4,000. See, it's a lot to take in. <laughs> so you don't want to do it over the top. So if you're up the top, yeah, that's it. Bring it down slowly. You don't want to do it over the top, so now follow your magenta line. Ah, so the magenta line is the 4,000 feet. No, this is your magenta line. Uh, that's your magenta line, your horizontal line, I meant to say, sorry. This line here, you see this pink here? Yeah, yeah. It should be on your screen. It should should be on your screen, unless there's some discrepancy. But what, what does it mean? What does it mean? It basically means what it is. That's your up, your ver your up and down, and then this line is your left and right. So your up and down, what you're following, is say for example, if you program here for four thousand, what that's going to do is that's going to program you as close as it can get on the computer for four thousand altitude. Okay, so that's going to program you for four thousand feet. Uh huh. If you foot for five thousand, that's then going to go up. It's going to tell you right. In order to get to five thousand, you need to follow this magenta line really quickly. So, look, I see, I see. Right. So if I put for five thousand and hit the altitude into me, sorry, or the vertical speed, right? That then should realistically, why well, it's not going up. It's up on mine. Oh, is it up on yours? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So whatever's on your screen. So it should be up technically, but if you put it for 4,000, it'll program itself for 4,000. Okay, so now I want you to turn on a left turn and heading, let's say 225 at 4,000. 225. So at this point, you can use watch your altitudes. There we go. So you want to turn that, you want to do that heading, but you also want to keep looking at your altitude because at the moment you're going up, down, up, down, yeah. up, down. So as you're coming closer, right? So now straighten up the aircraft. Straight, see, now you've gone past it again because you did it too. Well, that's 262. Two. You said 225. Oh. Yeah, 225. No, the heading. So do the heading. So left. We do the heading, yeah. So left, and now watch your altitude as you're doing that. Ah, yeah, yeah. Because you know I've done. So you watch your altitude because at the moment you're going up, down. So as you're about to come up to four thousand, you want to stiffen up into the middle. There we go. It's tricky, huh? Yeah, it, it is. It is, and that's the part of learning, and that's why I told you you needed to learn this uh, basic first. So watch your altitude. There you go. Bring it down slowly. Otherwise, you're going to pass it. And now, there at that point, you might want to use a little bit of, you know, tweaking. So that's where the trim comes in. So wait for it to respond. So nose up a little bit. Slightly. Bring the nose down slightly before you get there. There you go.
All right, to simplify things, I'll tell you what. Um, pause your X plane. Okay, so go into mm. your settings. Yeah. Uh, sorry, into your into your plane where it says the plane, just to simplify things. And go put the weather to clear. Apply the change. Okay, done. Okay, great. That should be much smoother. <sighs> Should. Okay. So now, where is that M? There is that M. Okay. So I want you to turn on the right heading uh, two four zero. Two four zero. So, yep. So how do I know that the airport is there? If we pause it. Yeah. I can minimize it. I can maximize it. I can see that the airport that we departed from is there. Ah, uh, the okay. dashed line. That's the that's the dashed line. Okay. But usually you would look at charts and you would see which runway is that and which one that. Okay. So in this case, I'm not going to tell you how to look at charts because that would be a bit too complicated. So I am going to program on my side the arrival star or the ILS. Okay. So you can learn the ILS. So. In this case, we're going to learn our ILS 06, so we don't need a star because we're coming in. We're going, what we're going to do is we're going to come in and then at that last four waypoints where we start is going to be fail. And what altitude we need to be at? Fail 3000. Okay, so we need to make sure that we're at fail for 3000. So we keep going at this altitude at this speed. You're doing a fantastic job, well done. Thank you. So let me just turn off the thingy and I tell at this point, you know, cabin crew prepare for landing. Blah blah blah. Okay, here we are. Four thousand P happy. Happy happy. Okay. So how landing is gonna be a harder part. But I'm gonna give you a little trick. And you're gonna do two types of landing. One is visually, one is ILS. But you're going to use the ILS in order to help you because that's why it's there. Okay. And once you master the ILS, and, you know, and once you can use it, then your your visuals as well will be able to help. You'll be able to help with your visuals as well because visuals is is much 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 harder. Okay. So ATC is now telling you, okay. Uh, Canadian 1239 head on their heading or oh. okay let's say okay so Elliot 1229 <laughs> carry on on a heading of 240 and you repeat carry on on a heading of 240 Elliot 1222 1229 sorry so Elliot 1229 yeah Carry on on a heading of two four zero. Okay, Elliot. Uh, what's my number? Twelve twenty nine. Twelve twenty nine. Carrying on on two four zero. Or you can say one two two nine. Elliot one two two nine. Carrying on heading two four zero. Okay, so Elliot one two two nine. Um. Okay, okay. I'll give you. I'll give you a little, a little thing. Okay. I've got an idea, I've got an idea. Okay. Okay, so let's focus on the landings first, the takeoffs, because at the moment we're very scarce. Okay, so Elliot, I want you to zoom out a little bit so you can get an idea as to where the airport is. But you've got the aircraft on your hand, so what are you going to do? Uh. Autopilot? Yes. How we'd so to autopilot, what we do first is we have the autopilot here. So let's pause it a second. Yeah. So we have the autopilot. Okay. So this is the autopilot, okay? So you've got the course, you've got the IS, the heading, uh thingy, you've got a bunch of switch. VNAV stands for vertical navigation and LNAV stands for lateral navigation. In other words, VNAV controls your speed automatically based on what you put down there in the FMC. You put it correctly, and your LNAV will control your altitudes based on what you put down here. So whatever you put down here, 
it will st it will tell you when to go down to the set. Okay. So at the moment we're on lateral navigation. We put four thousand. Okay. Mm -hmm. But we got it on altitude hold, ALT hold. Right. That means it's going to hold at this altitude. But as you can see, there's a diamond here. Yeah. And the reason there's a diamond is because we put a, an initial cruise altitude eight thousand. So it's actually telling us because we cru it's actually telling us that when we get to this waypoint at mobile it's best us to get to 8000 so wherever we are you know if you want to be you know cruising altitude based on when we departed departed here to the little waypoint which we, that's the sid okay first to be at 8000 but we're not going to go to 8000 okay so we just put 8000 in there how do we change simple so first let's focus on getting this onto pilot so we can concentrate okay so first what we need to do is we need to click altitude hold so the altitude that we're staying at mm -hmm. so we put the altitude of where we want it to put altitude hold 4000 that's where we want to stop we put the speed at what we want we can put the speed at what we want so it's 2.3 manual that we put but say for example we want to add the speed that we put up to there and I'll tell you another time how to get the speed from it. then we just click vertical navigation and that will be that will program onto there and in the next lesson I'll tell you all about FMC and how to program to get the speeds now say for example okay I don't want to use altitude hold I want to use LNAV all the way up that's fine. We just have to program in here. I've got to tell you how to do both. So, in order to activate, what we're going to do is we're going to remain on this speed, but we're going to altitude hold, and we're going to let autopilot do the rest. Okay? Okay. So, first, we do, we look at the heading, and we've got a heading of 239, so we've got to do heading 239, click heading. And then, that's going to make that uh, LNAV disappear because we're no longer now, okay, we're no longer using the lateral navigation. Ah, uh, yes. Thing. So we do heading and that will disappear. And we're now holding the altitude, you see? Yeah. So in order to get the autopilot to work, it's simple. We click autopilot engage there, A or B. B for my side, A for your side. So A. And if you let it go, that will now. Sometimes it just does it, it goes a little crazy. <laughs> but now, what that will do is that will program itself for altitude, you know, for 4,000. But let's say we want it 5,000. So that's simple. What we do is we put 5,000. But you'll realize that the plane is not moving up and down. Mm. Why is it not moving? Because we haven't told it to. We said we wanted 5,000. But we haven't said, okay, we put 5,000 in here, but I want you to move. So, how do we do it? We click this little bit, a little button that says altitude into. So, let's say we want 2,500, just for the sake of it. We click altitude intervene. Is that not me? Why is that not me? What is it? That's not it. Why is that not moving up? Ah, right. Got ya. Okay. The reason it wasn't moving there is because we got it on altitude hold. So we told it to, um, you know. Okay, so we said, okay, we went at 5,000. But we can't go at 5,000. Because you're basically alt still altitude hold. So, we need to move that out of the way. And we need to vertical sync, VS. And we need to, if you put it on minus, you'll see, okay? You'll see this little thing pop up here in a sec, look. Put it on oh, minus. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's going to go up. Uh -huh. So now, we're going with 2,000. So what does that mean? That means you're going at 2,000 feet per minute. So you're climbing at 2,000 feet per minute now. Oh, kind of faster. Hmm. Yeah, 
kind of fast, yeah. So you don't really want it that fast. It's usually about 10,000, 1,800. So let's say that. Okay. Okay. Now let's say that our next waypoint. So let's say now we, based on the FMC, our speed is 250. So we click 250. Right? And that's what's gonna. I have no idea why that's going down. That's not supposed to do that at all. Why is it going down in the set? It shouldn't really be doing that. Why is it going down to 4,000? Yeah, it's going down from 4,000. It shouldn't really be doing that. Right, so let's say in this circumstance that it's doing that. How do we find out what speed we're going if there's nothing? We speed it. So it's saying 240, and you can see there's a little thing, diamond, that says 240. So at the moment, it's got the MCC, MCC, MCP squared, which is the co pilot, um, autopilot. It's got the heading select, and it's got the VNAV, LNAV. So anything that you click on here will tell you on here. So at the moment, it's on 4000. We need to find out why it's at 4000. So Let's say, for example, we wanted to go direct to VNAV, fail, but currently we aren't heading. So, I need to find out actually why this is not coming up, I just need Why am I done? Okay, bear with me for a few seconds. Ooh. <laughs> Let me find out why that's not moving. Okay, because we haven't set a cruising altitude, that's why. And the other waypoint is not catching up the other waypoint. So, let's say 5,000. Let's, let's say 5,000 in cruising altitude. Now, let's see. Or is it because we have to put it to a waypoint? Okay, so if, it looks like if you're going on the heading, you'll have to do it manually, vertical speed manually. So at 4,000, you have to do the speed manually because we're not directly into a waypoint. So we do manual, manual speed up. And that's gonna climb. And at 5,000, that's gonna come down steady now we want to direct to the next waypoint but we need to we know that at the next waypoint we need to be at 3000 don't worry about that but we know we need to be at 3000 so we know that roughly by looking visually it's roughly here somewhere so we turn on the heading oh oops so we turn on the heading Oh, for fuck's sakes, I hate that sound. So we turn on heading until the aircraft is pointing towards that point. And that's going to turn it towards that point. And then we put 3,000. Ah, there you go. See? Now I see. Okay, so altitude holds. That's still not working for some strange reason. That's thing, that's saying control wheel steering. I mean, it's not even true wheel steering. That is hella bizarre. But that should move automatically. You should move technically on that, and it should altitude intervene, and it should go down. But if it doesn't, in this case, you'll have to do it manually. So at there, we need to go. Ah, there you go. See, there you go. I think you have to have both on. Okay, I've got you. So you have to have VNAV and LNAV in order for it to go down, otherwise it will go down. Let me try the heading. Will it work with the heading? It's being a bitch today, man. I don't know why it's doing this sort of shit. There we go. So, wait, so is it going down? down? Or? 
It's being a bitch, that's why. Yeah. Alright, so, if it doesn't go down, what do you do? You have to use vertical sync. Just use vertical sync. Okay. Okay, so use vertical sync. But how do you know that you're going to be landing there at that point? Okay. How do you know that you're going to be at that waypoint where you need to be, right? At 3,000. Watch this arc as I move the vertical sync up and down. Watch that arc. See? Ah. So for 3,000, it's going to take, based on this speed, okay? Based on this speed that we're currently going. Yeah. At this rate, it's going to get us there. Okay, so at this point, cool. ATC might tell you, so uh, Elliot1229, make sure, arrive at fail for 3,000 or uh, below. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we might put 3,000 and you put 3,000 or below. So that bit is the ILS. That's what we need to catch. So how do we program that? It's fine. We're going to program this just really quickly. So, we do a bunch of stuff which you will learn in another time. I'm not going to tell you now because it's uh, too complicated because I just wanted to concentrate on the aircraft and the pilot system. So, so at the moment, it's just going to tell us. So, we need to be on this line at that fail, heading straight, in order for us to receive the autopilot for our this for us even to land. So pass me the controls and I'm going to do a touch and go and you will see what I mean. So at the moment we're going about 190 so we want to be at 190 about this far. Okay so we know that the auto throttle is working blah blah blah. Okay. Okay and then you're going to do this exact the same thing. So at this rate if we get to Vienna Be at 4,000. Okay, uh, request controls. Yeah. Okay, so you're going to land. Don't worry if you don't. Okay, so. Because I want you to have the fun. Okay, so we're going to set the auto brake to. Well, let's go to. Actually. Let's go to one, and then what I want you to do is, as you're braking, as you're about to stop, I want you to engage, to, um, you know, throttle all the way to about eight, and just take off again. So climbing. Okay. So we're gonna go do what you learn—a quick touch and go. So at that point, you're coming down slowly. You're coming down slowly. And it's going to be roughly about here where we want. Okay, so. Now, do you see that diamond on your screen? Oh, uh, yes. That's your ILS vertical. So that's your vertical. And this one is your horizontal. So in order for it to be on the ILS, that needs to be on the middle. And that needs to be there. And that's yeah. when you know that you're fully going down. So, if that diamond is above where it is, that means that you're below where you need to be when you get there to fail. Okay. If that if that is here, that means you're too high. So, if that is in the middle, it's perfect. And if that's in the middle, it's perfect. If your horizontal, say for example, is on the left, that means you need to go to the left. And if that's on the right, you need to go to the right. Same here. That means if that's on the top, that means you need to remain either at that altitude and wait for it to come down because you're too low, or if that's down there, yeah, that means you're too high. So, got you. We are gonna, what we're gonna do is I'm gonna line you up with the runway and you're gonna do a nice little approach to the runway. So, zoom in on your map slowly. Uh. So fail should be there, roughly. So we've got it programmed, I've got it there, pre-programmed onto the, uh, onto the FMC. I'm just going to set the course to 57, because we need the course, 57. 
57 horse is like a, a heading. So we programmed it. So now we can let the L nav navigate us there. So we can even line it up better. So let us let the L nav navigate it. So now we need to be at fail for 3,000. So we need to be at fail for 3,000, okay? That diamond is then going to turn into a hard diamond. So watch that diamond there, look. That's turned into a hard diamond. Oh, yeah, so yeah it is. So that's gone from a transparent. Okay, so that means that the vertical, uh, the horizontal is alive. Now we just need to wait for the vertical to come alive as well. And as you can see, as you can probably see up there, you can see the runway. So this is where you say um, ILS intercepted? Clear. Yeah, no. You say ILS intercepted in a sec. Okay, so at this point you want to probably add flaps 5. So you're at speed 180 and then you want to drop the speed down to 180. Okay? okay. So you're going to take control now. Oh. Okay, so you've got control. Okay. okay. You want to keep out 3,000. You're using too much uh, thingy, right? So keep it there. Don't go below three thousand. So we're gonna bring this the the speed brake. So one eighty. So don't go below three thousand. Stay at three thousand or below. So focus on that runway in front of you. So you want to maintain it on the on the runway. So now the vertical. They're both aligned, so you wanna so put it pause it on there. Mm. So now you wanna look at the runway where you are, and you wanna keep, make sure that that's in the okay. So this is a test now. This is gonna be where you concentrate a hell of a that's going to be in the middle. That's gonna slowly come down. Once that's there, okay, I'm gonna hit approach this button here, approach, and that's gonna start going down. You need to follow your horizontal line down, okay need to make sure that those diamonds like a little game you got to okay. make sure that's in there and that's in there and it's going to be complicated okay <laughs> as you look in there and as you look in there you're looking at your altitude you're looking at your speed and you're looking at there so there's a lot to take in okay okay so as you come there okay so a little bit more to the left look at the runway where you are so small touch notches so flaps 15 gear down so watch your horizontal line that's it so bring her down 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 there we go so now we're going to bring the speed right back so there we go so approach so bring it down keep going 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 you're too high there we go. No, that's too much. Okay. Bring it up. Bring her up. Bring her up. Look, follow the horizontal line. Follow that pink line, that diamond. Now you're looking. I know it's a lot to take in, okay? But you're looking. You need to maintain that there, okay? So where's your horizontal line at the moment? Is it's, it where it might No, is? it's way higher. What, up there? Yeah, f at seven degrees. Is it doing there? It's a bit annoying. Okay. Maintain with the the diamond. So bring the diamond uh, nose up. Like this? S yep. Stay there. Just watch the diamond as it comes down. So nose down slightly. That's it. That's it. Hang on, stay there. There you go, you're going at this nice descent rate. Nice descent rate. So there, just a little bit. No, don't bring the nose down. Leave it there. There's where it is. Don't look at my screen, look at your screen. Now, you want to concentrate on where the runway is going to be, roughly. So you want to line up, start lining up, doing small little touches. You want to do the smallest little touches 
as you approach because it's going to be hard not to and you've got to start making swing so bring your nose up slightly there we go now also another thing hmm. as from the cockpit watch those lines there watch those lights you see those lights there yeah on the runway yeah they're called happy lights what you want to do is they're there to help you okay do you know what they do at all any idea is it the height yes it's got some lights here they're navigational so okay so this is the way they work if they're all red that means you're too low if you're if they're all white that means that you're too high so you need to have a sweet spot you need to have what they call, what real pilots called, two whites over two reds. So two whites, two reds. When you're two whites, two reds, that means that you're at the right alt altitude and you're coming out at a good descent level. So you're perfect where they need to be called the glide slope, or else called the glide slope. What about if it's like that? What does that mean? We're slightly too low. Slightly too low, yes. So. We need to stop descending slightly, slightly, <laughs> okay? So, you're now, because I know this is a lot too overwhelming, because you're looking here, you're looking there, you're looking, don't worry about this at the moment, because that doesn't matter now. So, your main focus is here, main focus, runway, getting in line, your, your speed, okay? Because okay. you're going to have to concentrate on your speed in a sec. Your speed needs to be roughly about this. Now, depending on each weight, which I'll tell you another time, it's going to be that your altitude. So make sure. Ready? Wait, uh, sure. wait, 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 wait. Do you need to touch the the power? Yeah, you're going to be controlling the power now. Oh, okay, okay, so okay. You're gonna, so you're going to have your speed to control, your altitude to hold. Now, we need to practice this before we go anywhere. <laughs> this is very important that we practice this because I want to get this over and done with. All right, so. Now, your speed's yours. Okay. 1,000. So your, your speed, leave it where it is, right? So bring the nose down slightly. Slightly. There we go. Keep it down there. Yeah, keep it like that. Down a little bit more. There we go. There, 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 there. It's perfect. There is absolutely perfect. Right where that diamond is. Nose down slightly. Lose some power slightly. It's idle. Yeah, you need to lose it some... Uh, is it idle? Yeah. No, it's not. There we go. Now no. you're going to lose too much speed. Bring it up slightly. So you want to keep that speed at about 137, 138. You're losing too much speed really quickly. No, that's too much. No, your nose down. Okay. Bring the nose down. Bring the nose down, otherwise you're going to miss the runway. You're already too high. Focus on that approach. Right, keep it down. Keep the nose down. Keep the nose straight. Nose straight. Nose straight. There we go. Lose speed slightly. Remember, 136, 135. Too much speed. No, add some speed. Sorry, so add some speed. Not too much, not too much. <laughs> there, 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 there. I know it's perfect. Right, at this point, no, you fled too much. Yeah. You fled too much. You fled too too early. Right. Full power? There we go. Yep, so full power. Let's try that again. Oops. Right. There. Right, so go around again. Too low, gear. Too low, gear. Laps 50. All right, so let's try that one more time. All right, so now we're going on a heading. So go for altitude 3000. And that should be uh, on your MC, on your magenta horizontal line. No, why is that going all the way down there? What about now? That keeps taking it away, I don't know why. 
Yeah, that keeps taking it away, I don't know why. Yeah. Can you activate it? Um. There you go. I don't know why that keeps deactivating. That's a little button. Right, lose some speed. Lose speed. Too much. Right, stop. Just bring it back to the idle. There we go. Let's get this. There's a bit there's a button somewhere you're disconnecting the auto throttle. You need to have a little play with that we uh yourself. Okay. Because there's definitely a little button. You need to try this in single player. And see where you stand. Okay, so now let's make a shorter turn. Okay, so let's go heading three two seven. And I'll add some fuel. Slowly, slowly. Where's your magenta line, your horizontal line? It's minus 10 degrees. Yeah, same. Okay, so at this point, we need to program the so it's there. Let's see, we need to keep it up. Three thousand. There we go. There you go. Is that better? Yeah. Is it coming up? Right, yeah. Cool. Alright. Alright, so this time we're gonna make it shorter, okay? Okay. Just for you. Okay? So what happened there was that, um, okay, when you've got control of your aircraft, okay, with a throttle, okay, pass me the controls. I'll show you. Uh, wait. Your control. Yeah, all right, my controls, right. When you've got controls, right, disconnect the uh, auto throttle. Uh, this way? Yeah. Right, when you've got controls, right. When you've got controls, the first thing that you're going to do, right, is because you haven't touched your throttle, okay? So your throttle doesn't move with a simulator, okay? So mm -hmm. when you touch it, okay, when you touch it because it's going to be at that speed, okay, when you touch it, sometimes you're going to touch it and it's going to, you're going to have to go, what you're going to have to do with your joystick, uh, with your throttle, you're going to have to slowly go catch it up where it is in here. And the best way to look is where that currently is. So... So, for example, it's there. Now, I haven't touched it, right? Now, watch. Watch. where. See? Where it disappeared? Because that's where I went to get it. Uh, because wherever it moves, it will go down instantaneously to where it is. Uh, I see, yeah. Right. Oh. Now, what you did was you did this, right? So, because it was here, and then as you start descending, you start going, and you start going throttle, and then up, and then throttle, and then up, and then throttle, right? You want to prevent that. You want to come in at a stable speed. So I first look at my speed here. That's where my speed is, okay? So say, for example, I want to keep it one uh, two, three, eight, okay? So I lose it slowly, just slowly, wait for it to reply. I wait for it to reply. I don't go like this, right? And then wait for it to go, and then add, and then let go, right? Because that's gonna, you're gonna lose speed. You're gonna lose altitude, right? So let me just get this aircraft properly configured. See how I just optimized that? Yeah. yeah. Right, and this is going to take some 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 practice. You're not going to get this in the next day. All right, so again, right now, let's autopilot this. Take controls. Uh, yep. Okay, so for today's lesson, one last one. All right, so let's see if we can nail this. This has been two 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 hours. All right, so. I want you to turn the left on the autopilot heading 250. 
so with the dial on the dial yes on the autopilot yeah yeah uh. ah okay so now you've done something and the aircraft is not going to turn 30 degrees ah uh, wait yes there we go 30 there you go. 250 yep well done so when you're on approach okay when you're on approach what's going to happen okay when you're on approach what's going to happen instantaneously is that as you're concentrating on a bunch of things okay you also disengage the auto throttle and remember wherever then you touch your auto throttle from then onwards that's where it's going to appear on here yeah okay that's where it's going to appear on there so it's very important that you keep a stable speed as opposed to going all the way up all the way down all the way up all the way down so add it in the increments wait for the aircraft because it's a jet remember so it's a jet so you've got to give it time for it to respond it's not a fighter jet it's got to you got to give it time to respond to you hmm all right so let's just uh, add six left here all right so that should be it and then the, uh, This flight is weird. There's a bunch of shit that just doesn't work in a normal situation. All right, so now I want you to take control at 3,000 feet and I want you to remain this. Okay, so how do you do it? There is a button that you can disengage. Usually you would, uh, you could do it through your joystick. I've got a button set for that, you can. But for today's flights, that button is located right here on your on the on the thing is located oh, yeah, I see, I see. right here so you press it once and twice and twice there you go that'll disengage there we go because if you do it from here that's the wrong way to do it it's actually through here and you're actually supposed to have it on um, on a little button so that's a lot another thing that you should have correctly assigned for that and you need to look for a button you need to do it okay so what you need to do is when you go into multiplayer yeah single player i want you to test this out if it's just a bug between us or if it actually happens between yourself so you need to go test it and if it does then there's something on your joystick that is just uh turning that off i'm pretty sure that's something turning that off because i've never seen that before okay but just try it and then go, yeah, Doug, I tried it. <laughs> and it doesn't work. Okay. Okay. Uh, okay, pause it a second. Let's pause it a second. I just need to add some fuel here. Cause it, uh, actually, run it out of fuel. So, can't do it. So, can No, that doesn't. Okay, we're gonna have to land this one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're definitely gonna have to land this one. Okay. Awesome. So we're altitude holding. So we can go to V nav at this point, and that will let us concentrate on that. Altitude holding in the horizontal line appears. Altitude holding in the horizontal line disappears. So, you will get all used to this, man. It does take some time to get used to. But I just want you to get familiar because, uh, actually, next lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to do a cold and dark. So I'm going to teach you cold and dark the next the, the next lesson to get you onto P2. We're going to do cold and dark um, FMC control uh, FMC. So. It's uh, it's going to be a big lesson. Cool. It's, I'm afraid to say it's the uh, it's the boring side. That's okay. Because I'm going to do, I'm going to do a lot of quizzes on. <laughs> okay. So. 
Elliot, uh, 1229. I want you to turn. Actually, forget about it. Don't worry. So, once you're. You see where that horizontal line, uh, where the heading is? That uh, was. You see where that says that TD? Yeah, yeah, yeah. That means top of descent. So that means when you're at the top or you're cruising altitude, because that's what I programmed 3000. And that's your descent. That's when you're going to start your descent. So you're going to be doing a lot of flights. And when you see TD, that's going to be your top of descent. So that's going to be at the point where you start descending. So you might be wondering, okay, I'm going to do a flight. When do I start descending? Your FMC will tell you when to start descending. Program, if you program it correctly, it will tell you when to start descending. So top of descent. And it, when you take off, it might say T slash C. And that means top of climb. So that means that that's at that point you will reach top of your climb. So top of your cruise. I see, yeah. Okay. Elliot 1229. I want you... To, okay, so Elliot 1229, turn left, heading 145. Turn left, heading 145, Elliot 1229. Elliot 1229, I want you to turn left, heading 145, maintain 3000. Turning left, heading 145, maintaining... 3000 Elliot 1229 What does that mean? Well, turning left <laughs> 145 and the altitude is 3000 feet Well done Okay, so I'm going to control the speed for you So take your time Okay I'm going to control the speed for you Watch your altitude What yeah. did I say? I don't know if your magenta line is Your horizontal line It should be the same now yeah, no, so I went. Should, I went down. You should have. You shouldn't have no excuses now. <laughs> Elliot one two two nine. Direct to fail, and then join on the localizer for runway zero six left. Direct fail and joining. Localizer 06 left, Elliot 1229. Okay, so what is the localizer? What did we talk about the localizer? So, so the localizer. These are on. the diamonds, huh? Yeah, the diamonds. When they're both there in the middle, so one's there, one's there, and you start descending, that means you're on the localizer. Boom. Okay. So you're now doing a left traffic pattern. So what we did is a left traffic pattern. So we went up, turn left, turn left, then and again. And now we're in a left downwind. And then we're left downwind final. So you're going to do that and then you're going to anticipate the left. So this one's going to be, you're not going to have time to, uh, this one's going to be a little bit more, um, a little bit more of a harsh turn. Okay. So and, and the diamond appeared because you put the right uh, frequencies. Correct. Okay. And don't worry about that we will go through that we will go through that and program in it and that will be when we do a full flight we will program it properly mm -hmm. i just want you to have some fun with the aircraft and see whereabouts you are and what abouts needs to be worked on but i think you're learning that at a good rate and if things go well i'll give it about a month before you can take your test and stuff cool but that also depends when you're available when i'm available when you can do things can't do things, how quickly you learn those things, so so, because I told you to join the localizer, what I tend to do on the FMC is, I'll teach it is I program it and put it towards fail, because um, it's gonna basically I'm not gonna activate it just yet but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna zoom in I'm going to zoom in. And when I'm just nearly there, okay, when I'm nearly there, I'm, usually I would activate the autopilot in that case and let the autopilot fly until I'm on the local, well, when I'm near the localizer and then activate it. 
because you're coming in from different altitudes. You're not always going to come at 3,000. You know, you're not always going to be prepared. Yeah. So, at this point, so start turning. Slowly. Slowly. There we go. And see the local... The, the diamonds are there now? The diamonds yeah. are your friends. Use your diamonds to your advice. So, turn, 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 turn. Turn more. Turn. You've got 30 degrees to turn. Oh, we got the fuel warning. Yeah, we're cool. We have to <laughs> okay, keep turning. 10, 20, 30. You got up to 30. Okay. There we go. There we go. Not too much. There we go. That's the max. Oh, diamonds coming in. Yeah, diamonds coming in. Keep turning. Keep turning. Keep turning. Like keep this? turning. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. Yeah, keep turning left. Otherwise, you're going to miss it. You're going to miss it. Oh, is it? Ah, I left. see. I see. I see. You need to go left. That's what I said. You need to go left. Right, now you need to correct it to the right. But don't overcorrect it. Watch your altitude. Watch your altitude. You're missing out on your altitude. Maintain that altitude. Maintain. Don't try to go climb it, okay? Just maintain that altitude. Maintain that altitude. The altitude that you're at, stay where you are. There you go. Now correct where you are for the runway. Okay. Right? Okay, stop. Okay. When I say maintain that altitude that means don't go climb at the altitude to go get the 3000 just maintain the altitude that you're at so what i would do is if i was too high i wouldn't try and climb for it because i might be at a low speed that i might still crash so what i would do is i would try and maintain the 2500 2600 and then wait for the ils to come catch me okay you, yeah, yeah so because then what you're doing is then you got you now got four things going on you've now got the diamond the left and the right or the bottom okay you've now got your altitude to worry about because you're now going oh my god shit i need to go get to the 3000 and then you've got the runway that you need to point yourself towards so you've got four things going on plus your speed that that's five okay so you've got five things when you could just easily have four things just to worry about Hmm. I mean, you don't even have to worry about four things. You could just, at this point, I know that I just need to point myself to the right run, run, runway, and I don't need to worry about my, and I need to worry about my altitude. So I get my altitude, I get my, I point myself into the right direction, get down to the right altitude, and then bring my speed. Don't focus on five, six things at the same time. So watch my voice. So listen to me. Right. So. Point yourself in the right direction. Watch how easy this is. Point yourself in the right direction. Quick. All right. Now I'm going to bring your speed down to altitude. All right. To where you need to be. All right. So flaps 15. Okay. Now I click approach. That's going to bring you down. Keep following the diamond. Keep following the diamond. Keep following the diamond. Onto the runway. That's it. We were a little bit high, but that's fine. So your map, your final speed should be one three six. Okay. So, okay, so now your speed's yours. Remember, don't overdo it. So, take speed over now. There you go, bring it down to four. To four. There you go, to four. There we go, there we go, there we go. Bring the nose up. All right, speed uh, increase again. Remember, you need to keep your speed at about 138. Let it, let, wait for it to catch up slightly. Don't increase it, don't increase it, don't increase it. Wait for it to catch up first. Nose down slightly, nose down slightly. See, that speed's now gonna go up. Bring it down the speed slightly, slightly, a little notch. Keep bringing the speed down. There we go, there, leave it there. There we go, beautiful. Keep it there, keep that speed. Don't touch it. 
and don't flare until I tell you to. And okay. don't flare too much. You want to flare roughly about five. So don't worry about the, the triangles at the moment. Just worry about getting them ish right. Okay. Worry about getting it on the on the tarmac. Okay. Flight is low. It's fine. Flight is low. Carry on. Continue. Flight is low. Flight Add is low. slightly little bit of speed. Flight just a tiny little bit of speed. Flight Not too much. Low. That's too much. Flight is low. Flight is low. No, don't put the noise down. Don't put the nose down. Don't put the nose down. Just nose needs to be straight. Okay. So stop. Okay. So you see where this bit is? is here yeah okay that means you're pointing the nose up too much now if we look at your aircraft okay look at your aircraft it's now at an angle it's going up yeah so what you want to do your main priority to get us good run is to keep that within that line there there the horizontal you want to keep it straight as opposed to like almost pushing back Control that free speed. Ready? One, two, three. Right. Right. No. There. Yeah, there. 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 Don't worry about that horizontal line now. Right. Don't worry about flaring. Don't worry about flaring. Bring the speed down all the way down and flare. There you go. That's too much flare. That's too much flare. Just a tiny little bit. Right. Let's apply full reverse thrusters. Maximum thrust. There we go, to bring it all the way down. Okay, now release. Okay. Okay. Cool. Right. Would you like me to... Uh, just do a little circle for you so I, I can tell you how I did. Yeah, for sure. Can I? I'll okay. quickly go to the toilet. Yeah, just release the brakes and I'll set it up quick. Uh... Okay. Okay. Two minutes. Okay, go on. Okay, I'm back. Okay. So, I'm on. Just uh, put this on pause here a second. Don't touch anything. Just uh, find out what plug may want. Okay, so we're 25. It's going to take a 24 manual 
right. Say. Right, so from here, I do four, wait for that to stable, bring it to six again, toga. Right, so I maintain it in the middle. All right, I'm looking at my speed solely now, okay? Okay. I go 80 knots. Right, I'm doing small little touches. At this point, when it before just goes, I'll bring it up. straight away. Gear up, gear up. I maintain that heading. I go for the magenta line. Okay. But I don't go over 20 degrees. Maintain it now. Okay. Now to make this thing a little bit quick quicker. I know that I'm coming up to roughly, so I turn the left turn while maintaining, while using my thingy, it's a little bit, uh, VNAV should be on, that's why. It's fine. So I think he's 30. So now it's going to bring me down. So now if I'm over, right, if I'm over, I don't do rational movements because I know that's going to, that's going to increase, so um, that's going to increase my speed. So I go 210, I've done my speed, I go back towards again, try and maintain it that 3000, I don't go over. Right, so I look. This is all me, no autopilot. Right, there. And I'll bring my altitude back up. So I'm doing one thing at a time. I can only do one thing at a time. I look at my flaps, it's on five, that's fine. I'll tell you how I do my land. Hopefully, if you could practice this, mm -hmm. that'll be awesome. Cool. Just take off. Shit. Oops, my bad. So if you can practice this, that's will be good. Use the use. Just take off. This is what the lessons are here for. So tomorrow we'll go through it one more time. From cold and dark. So we'll do a cold and dark. program the FMC and then do a little takeoff and land. Alright, so here I am. You're drinking. Wow. <laughs> that's a very large that's a very large gulp. <laughs> Alright, so I'm looking at my altitude because I'm looking at my FMC and my altitude. Sometimes I do miss <coughs> it. Happens. So ILS 06 left. Cool. So I know roughly now. Oops. Oh no, it's wrong. It's 2 3 actually, because we took from that now. 2 3 right ILS. Right, so I know now. So if I'm there, I don't go over too much. Because I know I'm probably going to need. So I'll just wait here for it. I'll just wait for it. Because it, I know it's going to come. So. I thought that point. I thought that waypoint said a bowler. <laughs> right. So. Now. I look. Roughly. Now I know I need to be at Ebdal. For 3,000 feet. Because it says 3,000 feet there. Right, we will yeah. too learn about that. So if I know that I'm moving my, myself around, I just use the, the, the rudder. So I'm 
you know, the, the, the trim. So the way the trim works is I don't use it for altitude. You're not supposed to use it for altitude. It's trimming. You're trimming the altitude. You're trimming where you want to be. So what I do is if I want it there, I just touch it up a notch on the on the thingy. Yeah, where it is. I just trim it up slightly. Just where if it's going up, I just bring it down a little bit, trim it down a little bit, bring it back to the middle, bring it down, trim. That's how you trim. I don't overdo the trim. Alright, so now, and this is just me flying. Bing. No water pilot. Now I know that I'm down, so I'll bring the, the nose up slightly. You probably can't see it, just slightly. Right? I don't trim. And I know that the horizontal line is going to come down. So now I trim down. And if it's going down too much, I trim up. Just bringing my, I'm doing small little touches of my joystick. Down and up. Right, now I know that I'm, I'm going to be to 10, so I'm going to have to focus on that altitude. Now I'm trying to be careful on maintaining with that horizontal line as much as I can. I know you didn't have the aid of this at the start, but it's uh, it's good use you didn't because that that's good. That's the uh, it'll get you to practice. But watch the way that I do the altitude. I don't do, and if you're doing it, and if you're touching it, and you and you're doing it, and your controls are too thingy. The way that they recommend you to do the Zebo, so if you go to your settings mm -hmm. and you go to your joystick and you go to sensitivity, they recommend you to put hitch the roll and the yaw all to 100% and bring augmentation all down to zero. Ah, okay. So, so all them down and then when you're done, then. Done. Okay. So that might be a little bit heavy for you. So that might be. Yeah, you're definitely more subtle than me. Yeah, yep, that's what you want to do. But that comes down to doing your controls as well. So at this point, I know I don't want to do a right bang on the line. So, you know, this is why I was telling you to turn, 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 turn. Right, so you turn, keep turning. And I then set my speed to 180. I know I'm coming up to approach and I don't want to be too, too fast. So I turn, I turn. This is where you weren't turning. And I was yeah, like, turn. I messed it up, yeah. Yeah, so turn. Because you get there pretty quick, man. So you turn. I think I messed it up. But this is uh, anticipation. So turn, keep it there. Alright, just there. So set flaps, flaps 10. Right, I missed it, so that was my bad as well. So I'm a noob. Alright, but if you missed it, it's fine. Because that was just poor judgment. And that's what it is, it's poor judgment. It's better being early than late. To be honest, I always say. So I keep it at 3000. Right, and I forgot to program the thingy. So 109.30. Oops, I don't know what's happening. Oh, what is going on? It's because I forgot to program the fucking thing. <laughs> uh, yeah, I forgot to program the thingy. And now I'm all over the place. But you can see what happens when you don't, you know, when you don't do things. So, of course, it's 27. It's because I had a program to the other one, I forgot. 237. So I'm doing small, small movements. Just get myself lined up with, again. 237, quickly get there. 237. Shit. I do need both of them. Yeah. So, 
we're in that same situation where we were. So I don't go and get the 3,000. I remain at my current altitude. You see where I am? Yeah, yeah. I remain at my current altitude. And I'll wait for that to come down. So at this point, I'm now going to just concentrate solely on a thingy. So speed. Speed's mine. So I know I need to keep it. My final speed will be roughly... So I can't descend anymore. So 2,000. I shouldn't really be descending. So flap shifting gear down. The aircraft will try to go down, but I can't let it go down anymore. Not until I have that gear. So gears are not going down, huh? Should I? Yeah. So there you go. Speed. So now I'm at uh, where I want it to be. I click approach. This is just coming down to tuning. to be exactly where I want it to be. Keeps going down so I add the trim up. So I'm a little bit high so I don't go get it. I keep at that attitude. So watch my speed look. Very nice. So this is not Flight a perfect slow. approach, but slow. it's fine. Carry Flight on. Slow. Flight slow. Flight slow. So Flight I keep slow. it there. I keep it there as much as I can. But the main priority is getting on the on the runway. I fucked that one up, but it's fine. So I keep it there. Keep it in the middle as possibly as possible right and at this point forget about those lines right right and you bring the speed brand slowly Ooh, right? very nice it's because we're 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 weightless so I apply this uh, reverse thrusters hit full full uh, thingy uh, full thrust, 60, bring it back down, accelerate a little bit more so the finger goes down, the speed brakes, like manual braking, I don't know why it's not manual braking, can you brake? Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's try this. Oh my god, just let go, fucking hell. Why is it not fucking... The speed brakes were so buggy. But that's how we do it. That's roughly how we do it. Now, in a normal flight, it's because we're really light. That's why the payload is light. It's usually at 41,000. Uh, the speed brake is because I have it on my joystick. The speed brake? Yeah. What do you mean? It. I have a button on my joystick and... That's why it's buggy. Yeah, you need to figure that out. So yeah, that will be the end of your lessons until tomorrow. Tomorrow, hopefully, we'll go through it again. Cool. But you now know how to take off and how to use Toga, and that's very important, and that's uh, one of the ones. Tomorrow, if you're about, what we'll do is we'll go through a cold and dark stage. We'll get the FMC programmed. We'll get this up the top programmed. We'll go through it together. Um, we'll program it to the next airport, we'll do a little flight, and then again, we will, um, again, we will go through it together, okay? Thank you so um, much, huh? You got any, that's alright, what, what questions have you got? Is there any questions you got? I'll quit here. Is there any questions that you got that might, might help you? No, I'm, I'm good, I'm sure I'll find a, a lot of them for tomorrow. Yeah, so, let's go through it tomorrow. Tomorrow at the same um, time, or? Yes. 
Uh, same time. Yeah, we can do the same thing. You tomorrow, same time, if that, if that suits yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, that's good for me. 10 o'clock. Awesome. I'm now going to go play a different game because I've done three hours of that. Yeah, yeah thank, you, thank you so much for your time, huh? That was uh, great. Hey, that's all right, man. We're here to help. Tomorrow, if you're about, message me. Let me know when your time available tomorrow. But if you can do it at the same time tomorrow, we can. Okay. All right, buddy. Cheers. Thanks so much. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.